this is the braid pattern. Please excuse my hot messness that I got going on right now. But this is the braid pattern that I decided to go with. Um, it's very all over the place. So I highly recommend doing your braids smaller. Um, as long as you have the concept, I try to leave as less hair out as possible. This is kind of like technically like my, I don't even know like my edges that I'm leaving out here. Um, because I didn't want to leave that much hair out um so yeah so all of this right here is going to be technically my leave out and then i'm going to have or i'm going to tip this heavy bang so we shall see so let's get started okay guys so the first thing that you're going to do you are actually going to start your sewing from the back if you guys need a little bit more details please make sure you go check out my sewing for beginners so i want to move a little bit quick during this moment but you definitely are going to make sure that you sew um and tie the knots i'm not doing it that way because since i'll be cutting it out i don't want to spend too much time doing that i also use a bobby pin method this is my method please make sure you use it i mean it's very easy it allows you to be able to um, make sure that it's in a straight line so you're not over sewing somewhere that you're not supposed to done here we're basically going to um sew until we get to the front and then we're going to start overlapping um to create the heavy bang i think so what I am attempting to do is to sew up underneath the braid so that way it allows you to be able to get the swoop look. Um, but I'm going to be doing this towards the middle of my hair so I'm going to be flipping it back and forth until about, I want to say about five to six times just until you get the desired look. Make sure you guys comment down below because I do like to chat with you guys so make sure you do that. Let's chat. As you can see, we're creating our heavy bang and once you flip it upwards, you don't really see any tracks and that's our goal. So when the wind blows, you don't have to worry about nobody seeing your track, girl. Once again, we are securing the bobby pin just to give you a guide to have your track straight and it just makes your life so much easier to sew. This section is the most important because you want to really ensure that you're doing, uh, well I should say sewing the hair up underneath your braid so that way it, you just don't want people to see it people, trust me. So you're just going to keep going back and forth, back and forth until you get it as heavy as you want it or I should say as you desire because um, yeah, I mean obviously that's your bang that you're going to be wearing so you can do keep going as much as you want if you want it to be super heavy um, I'm kind of doing it medium because I don't want it to look like a little toupee, but yeah Okay, so once you're done with the front bang, this part is a little bit confusing. So you want to make sure that you are going towards the front of your hair, crisscrossing it until you reach the middle of where your leave out is. I know it sounds confusing, but if you do it this way, your hair will be laid. At least I think so. Now you can style your hair the way that you wish. I like to use flexi rods because it's just easier, especially when you have a body wave. It gives it more of a body wave look and I just love it. Um, so yeah, um, that's basically what I did. I only put it in the front um, just to give my swoop bang just a little bit more swoop, if you know what I mean. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe for more weekly videos. And you know what I always say, deuces!